Same result, six straight out innings, maybe just a different way of getting there tonight. Just um, maybe just talk us through, I guess, the some of the struggles maybe that you had or just the location or that. Uh, yeah, I felt good the first inning, and then you know around the third, I lost command of fastball. I just wasn't there. And a little sloppy, you know, hit two guys, walked two guys, but slider really came into play today. I was able to throw that, you know, whenever I wanted, and then, you know, I get away from it, get it back. But the fastball, you know, it's got to be there, and I can't not get away from it. So. That, that fourth inning there, you know, I think you walked one, hit one, and then struck out the next three. Being done, just. What does that do, I guess, for his confidence, just knowing that you can maybe get behind an ending, but also kind of pitch your way out of it? I think the fall helped a lot. You know, you know, scrimmages, we you pitch a lot with guys on base, and I'm kind of getting, I'm really used to it. So, you know, I think the fall really helped me in the spring with all that. So. What's the plan today to attack them, attack the righties with sliders outside? Yeah, uh, we saw a whole, you know, righty lineup. So I was like, hey, man, I'm going to throw that slider a lot today. And, you know, it, it worked out, you know, worked really well. So. Was your approach different today when it was 0-2, 1-2, just trying to make them make a mistake? Oh uh, yeah, you know they swing a lot, a lot of stuff. You know 0-2 to kind of get you know crazy up there, but you know I was same thing, bouncing stuff on the ground. My slider plays really good when I bounce it. You know with 0-2, 1-2, all that. So have you been pleading with Yeski to you know get him to have 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 him call more splitters? You know. Um, I mean it's. The slider's been working a lot. You know when we get into a team, you know deadly lineup. You know. I'm going to flash a lot more and all that. So, You obviously get to a point in the game where you haven't given up a hit. Does that uh, creep into the back of your mind at all? Were you thinking about um, it? I don't think about it. You know, get out there. My job's to get out and all that. It doesn't really matter how I get them. You know, put zeros on the board. So, you know, I got kind of look, like looking at it after my outing. Like, hey, I gave up no hits today. Good job and all that. But, I mean, just fix up the sloppy stuff, you know, the free bases, the walks and all that. So. It's like five or six now really good starts from starting pitchers. Uh, just a little you guys, you know, how often you, you chat about just kind of what you guys are on and just, um, just how you guys can keep it up? I mean, I, it's cool watching each other. I think each week we kind of learn off each other, you know, how they pitch, you know, watching K pitch, you know, bringing in my next start, you know, and all that. So just learning off each other has really helped me. You know, so. I think it was the second or third inning and you slipped at a point. Did that affect you at all? Uh, pickoff mood, the pickoff move. Maybe it might be sore tomorrow, I don't know, but. I, I kind of, you know, strong mentally, you know, think about the hitter, you know, whatever happens on the outside. Doesn't matter. You didn't get hurt at all on that, did you? No, no, I'm fine. I know, I know you don't really care about the fact that you haven't given up a run yet, but it's got to feel good, right? Another game down, no runs. Yeah, it, it feels good not giving up any runs because that means we won the game. So, I mean, it's, you know, wins are wins. So we'll take them. Good defense behind you today. Great too, defense, right? yeah, great defense. Have you seen, like, Tommy and Brass will get better? Okay. Yeah, Tommy's looked looked really good today over there, so I'm excited to see what he does for this season. So. What's been the key to your consistency so far this year? I'd say uh, putting the ball in play, hitting pitches that I'm able to handle. You've been so it seems like you like to get right over the plate, like your feet are almost out outside the lake, on the plate, literally. Um, when you're up there, uh, is that something you've always done? Uh, actually, not. Um, I did it when I was like younger, like, probably like 10, 11 years, and then backed off the plate, and then I uh, came here, and you know, that was our plan. Coming in, I got shorter arms, so I'd be able to walk on the outside of the, outside of the plate. That's something you did on making the jump from high school to here. Just yes, uh, I did it a lot in the fall, and then I finally got comfortable with it in the early spring and the scrimmages, and uh, it just kept working for me. So. Is that something you came up with on your own or with your dad? Or? No, uh, actually, uh, Coach Johnson and uh, Chief had me do that, and it's been working. How do you decide which side of the plate you're going to hit on? Uh, if there's a righty pitching, I'm going to hit left-handed, and if there's a lefty, I'm going to hit right-handed. It's just matchups, easy. Easy to see the ball. It's coming into me instead of going away from me. Do you have a preference, or do you feel more comfortable with one or the other? Uh, I feel good both ways. Um, been seeing the ball really good both ways, so I feel like there's nothing really else to that. You said you uh, changed your stance. Hmm. Yes. I think coming into the season, was it? Yes, I I changed it. Uh, tried to do. I had a big leg kick coming in from high school. Uh, didn't didn't work in the fall. Uh, had to make some tweaks. Went back home with my dad. Uh, Chief helped me a lot. Coach Johnson helped me a lot also on it. Um, just minimizing my movement. You know, swinging his strikes and you know, I mean. 
taking balls, that's the biggest key, and hitting balls that I can hit hard. How does less movement help you? Oh, you're more consistent. I mean, you're trying to hit a 90 mile an hour ball coming at you. It's the hardest sport in the world, so uh, being consistent and less movement, I feel like, brings consistency. Has that just, how have you, how have you been able to, like, is, licks are like a timing mechanism, mm -hmm. right? So, like, how have you been able to, I guess, maintain your timing without the leg kick? Uh, it was a really, it was a really big struggle in the fall. Um, you know, I had to make tweaks, how to adjust. Probably seen 50, 100 at bats in the fall and to the spring combined now. So I'm, I'm feeling more comfortable every day as it comes in. You know, I mean, make tweaks here and there with what I, what, what me and Chief see over video. But um, I feel like I have more time. I can back the ball up. You know, I see spin more, change ups down. I see the ball a lot longer and have more time to react. What do you like working about with Chief? I just like, I mean, I, the biggest thing I like him as a person. He, uh, he's a really good guy. He, uh, I'm not, I'm, this, I'm, I'm pretty serious when it comes to the games, but I like to have fun and he lets me have my fun. And But when it's time to get to work, I mean, we get to work. He uh, knows how to push my buttons right and knows how to get me going. And that's LSU's how it's been since I met him. You guys have been a little bit up and down offensively. Like, what do you think needs to happen to sort of have everything sort of click in place? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say we've been super up and down. I feel like we all have good at bats. I mean, you can't go five for five every day. Um, as long as we win, it's all that matters. Um, it's the biggest thing. I mean, we just faced Texas. We faced LeBaron. He was out in the fifth inning, fourth inning, with 97 pitches. So I wouldn't say we're an up and down offense. I've, you know what we're you know what we're gonna get. You know what we're gonna bring to the table, and that's all that matters. Is if we win. What was it like facing LeBaron? I mean, that's probably the yeah, best pitcher you maybe ever faced. Uh, best pitcher I ever faced probably Luke Coleman at Dash Curry. I mean, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I mean, he was he was good. I give props to him, but I mean, he had nothing to beat us with. Um, he's you know me all the props to him, but you know the plan that we had, we obviously beat him. And you had to run there and hate it gets nothing, strikes. nothing else he could have done, but just we put up good at by, good at bats, and, and we fought off pitches and got his pitch count up, and that's eventually how we won the game. You obviously mentioned uh, Luke. What makes him so tough? Uh, he's very deceptive. Um, I mean, you can like a lot of sometimes hitters guess like cheat to fastball and then throw you that slider curveball. Um, he's really consistent. Knows where his ball's going. Knows how to pitch and counts. Gets weak contact a lot. I would say. Um, I mean, my first at bats against him. I mean, he made me. He made me look really bad. So I uh, I see what um, what he's doing. But I mean, even Thatcher, yeah, Thatcher had a rough go at it at first, but he's one of the best guys. And so is Gage Trump. I mean. Our list just keeps on going. What makes Luke so deceptive? Is it the release, or is it just the fact that he can mix his pitches so well? Um, I would say, I mean, he's just good. Like he's he's one of the best pitchers I've seen since I've played baseball. Um, he knows where it's going. He can land all four for strikes. He hasn't even thrown one of his, one of his pitches yet. Um, keeps you off balance. Keeps you out of your rhythm. He hides his ball really well. I mean, he rides too. I mean, he's just one of the best pitchers in the country, and obviously his numbers speak for itself. You guys turn that double play there in the seventh inning. Um, just, just how comfortable are you and Braz uh, in the middle of uh, infield? Just, just working together. It seems like you guys are really comfortable. Yeah, we're uh, we're really good together. Uh, we're comfortable. Uh, I mean, I feel like we've been communicating a lot more and um, with the shifts, and you know, Chief has us in very good positions, but. We've been getting more comfortable as each game goes all, goes along, and I mean that was just an easy routine ground ball for us. But I mean, that's that's our job is to make the routine play look easy. Is Luke's last pitch the split finger? Uh, it is. Have you seen it? Uh, I have. I haven't hit it. So. <laughs> How many at bats? I'm probably facing like three or four times. Uh, I think I've walked once or twice, and then just probably struck out the next two. <laughs> so it's pretty nasty. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. What's your confidence level like when you take the field in the first inning? On any given day, having Luke, Thatcher, Cade, and um, Gage. I mean, I remember my first time facing those guys. So, the scouting report doesn't do you really any good if you haven't seen them. Um, we're really confident going in. Um, you know, we always got to deliver the first blow. And I feel like we've been keeping our foot on the pedal, and that's how we play. I mean, got to have good at bats, grind at bats out, but we're all of us are super confident in each other. And, you know, I mean, we got to get the ball over, get a run in. We can do that, and just play baseball very good together. When you made that initial jump from you know Las Cruces, New Mexico, to to here, what was the thing that sort of surprised you the most about uh, whether it's the pitching or the level of competition, stuff like that? Um, I would say what surprised me the most is how strong and fast guys are. Um, that's the biggest thing. Uh, back home, 
you know, I was probably the strongest and, you know, I mean, hit the ball probably the hardest. So that was a big jump for me. I mean, they throw hard. They never seen a ride fastball like that or, you know, I mean, seen that much break on a curveball or deception on a changeup. But, you know, it takes takes time and you're back it took a lot of uh, at-bats to get, to get going. And I feel I mean, really good now. I've gained probably 15 pounds since I came here. So I feel stronger and, you know, I mean, mentally prepared every day. Is that sort of the next step you, you want to take to, you know, turn those doubles into home runs, maybe? Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about home runs right now, man. Just uh, worried about hitting, hitting singles and, you know, me getting on base, drawing walks, hitting doubles. I mean, I'm not going to run the ball to the yard um, that much, but I'm just trying to get on base and have my team win. We didn't get to talk to you Wednesday. You guys got pushed to the brink, maybe the closest yeah. you get pushed all year. Yeah. Um, what was your like confidence level? Where were you at? Um, we were, I mean, we were up against the ropes, um, but I feel like, I mean, we strained good at bats together. I feel like they didn't have the pitching to beat us, and we were beating ourselves. And once we finally got those at bats clicking, and you know, I mean, taking our pitches and hitting what we could hit, you, I mean, you guys saw what we can do. You saw what we did against Texas State. You saw what we did against most of the teams that we've played already. Once we stay in our plan and do what we have to do, that's, I mean, nobody can beat us. That's how it seems. But, I mean, we also got good pitching to keep us in that. Gavin uh, pitched good, got the got the out to keep that run in. And, I mean, we did what we can. We had good at bats, passed the bats the next guy. Ethan Fry came with a big hit, and so did Paxton. I mean, just stacking good at bats on, on like that. You started the editing too, right? Yeah, I hit a single. You like starting things out? in that situation? Yeah, I do. Um, I like giving my team a chance to win. Uh, I, mean, I think we just get on and pass the pass that bat to the next guy, Bayer, and then Mack, and you know, that's, how it, that's how it goes with baseball. You, you like jumping on the first pitch. Uh, what sort of allows you to be, I guess, so prepared? What, why do you like doing that? Um, I feel like the fastball is a good pitch to hit, and when it's in my zone, uh, I mean, that's, that's the pitch I want. Uh, be prepared out of the, in the pregame, and I go prepare good, and you mean, have your scouting reports on guys, what they do and what they don't do. But it's just getting my pitch. I mean, if that first pitch isn't there, I'm not swinging. I'm not going to go first pitch out. Like Chris Johnson always says, the strike's better than an out. So it just, I mean, it varies. But if it's there, I mean, if we're going to swing.